check it out. Yeah. Okay, this is Rod Wilson uh, back with another video. And as promised, um, we are adding workout videos. This is uh, this particular video is a high intensity workout called HIT for short, and it's actually a seven minute workout with one minute rest in between, and I do four sets of this. So the first 30 seconds I do jumping jacks. Now I'm on the second 30 seconds and I'm doing a modified version of burpees. If you remember, I had a serious back injury. I'm just recovering from just coming back to the gym. I had a lower back injury. Uh, it was a degeneration, level one degeneration of the lower spine between S1 and L5. I set the base of the spine. So doing a full burpee would definitely, um, I'm, my body's not ready to do a full burpee yet. So uh, this here is a kettlebell swing. And if you notice, I go back to the burpees after each exercise, just as a filler. Um, for HIT high intensity interval training, uh, one of the main things um, that is important about this type of cardio is keeping the heart rate high, keeping the heart rate high. So it's, uh, you exercise for a period of time and you rest for a shorter period of time. Um, and this is also helps with muscle preservation. Um, and there are definitely different types of hit or different combinations of exercises of hit that you could do. Um, but it simulates, one of the things it simulates that I found is a fighting match, whether it be MMA, boxing, because if you notice they're, they're in the round, in the ring for three rounds and then they rest for two minutes. So it's, it's definitely, um, something that keeps your heart rate up, keeps your extremities at the full capacity. Um, and again, you can use different intensity. You can use different exercises. You can even do hit exercises or hit workout with weightlifting. Um, just shorten your periods of rest in between, um, and lifting at a high intensity. So, uh, just to explain my back injury a little bit. Uh, I actually injured it, uh, doing uh, straight leg deadlifts. I went a little too heavy on my last set and jacked myself up. So uh, these are called inchworms, this exercise. Um, actually, the exercises I was able to do during the therapy, which I've been going through for the past six months, have all been strengthening exercises uh, for the lower back and also putting it back in place. Uh, the chiropractor has been doing that. Um, but during that course, this whole course of, of the therapy, I've been unable to do any compound movements whatsoever. None. I couldn't even run on a treadmill. Only cardio I was able to do was the elliptical or the or bike and was unable to do any ab exercises so now that i'm back um, i can do most of those things most of the compound movements but i cannot do deadlifts um, they're completely out of the question i actually don't know if i'll ever be able to do deadlifts again but squats um, i'm able to do squats but definitely with a lower weight um, i actually did a kettlebell workout the other day where i did squats holding the kettlebell um, in a rack position which is uh, <clears throat> after the snatch position you rack it and squat down so I was able to do those um, but with heavy weight I doubt if I'll ever be able to do that again um, what you just saw were step ups 
Uh, you just step up on a high stepper and lift your knee waist high. Um, so this is a constant movement for seven, seven whole minutes. Um, and, you know, I decided to add in the workout video so that you're actually walking through the journey with me this time. I mean, cooking videos are good, you know, um, you know, the right foods, you know, videos how to eat the right foods and talking about the proper exercise, but actually showing the exercises and showing my journey uh, to me will be more beneficial uh, to those that are trying to do the same thing. So this uh, will be the first of many um, workout videos. These are skier hops with the kettlebell. Uh, it's more of a, for, for, because of the back injury, it's more of a step over. Um, my back's about 85% now. So with the modification, you know, once the back is, is completely healed, I'll be able to jump completely over to do a complete skier out. But you get a leg and arm workout as well as cardio in this exercise. And here we're f coming to the end of the circuit. I'm actually doing this last set of burpees and then I'll be running in place for the final 30 seconds. So this was a seven minute circuit of this different exercises for seven, for 30 seconds each exercise and I rest for one minute and go right, go right back into the same thing. So I did four sets of this which is a complete cardio workout and much better than just, you know, the normal running on a treadmill or bike or elliptical, which is fine, but it could be, could get very boring. Don't, didn't want to get too much into the science of the difference between the cardios. I'll do that a little later, maybe after even a little more research, but it's great to be back in the gym. Glad to be back doing videos. Rod Wilson, RLW Fitness. Get strong.